Hey everyone, it's Neil here and welcome to Comic Book Connections, where I watch your favorite superhero film and TV shows and give you the comic book connections, so the history, the origins, and the little deep Easter eggs you didn't know about that are related to the comics. So, let's check out today the new Black Panther trailer from Marvel Studios. Alright, so my first connect is Ulysses Claw, played by Andy Serkis. He first showed up in Avengers Age of Ultron, but in the comics, he first showed up in Fantastic Four number 53 from August of 1966. He's been a constant foe for Black Panther, and Andy Serkis showed him last getting his arm cut off, but now we see him with a really awesome bionic arm, which he does have in the comics. So we're getting a little bit closer to that red and purple suit with the sonic cannon on his arm. Can't wait to see what else he'll do in the movie. Alright, my second connect comes a little deep cut. It's called the Necropolis, which is the Wakandan City of the Dead. So it's where Black Panthers are buried, and T'Challa can kind of go there to kind of visit his ancestors and learn more from them. It first appeared in Fantastic Four number 607 in August 2012, so it's a really recent addition, but it's a very cool for this history, and I think we see it um, in the trailer when T'Challa kind of sees some panthers in a tree, the really mystical landscape, but I think that's him reconnecting with his ancestors to learn more about how he can fix his problems in the current day. Alright, next up is someone we've already seen before, and that's Shuri, who is the sister of T'Challa, the Black Panther. Now, she's a really new addition, so she only appeared in Black Panther Volume 4, number 2 in 2005, um, but she's kind of a tech wizard, she's really good at technology, so I think in this movie she'll have built T'Challa's new suit, which looks really cool. Uh, but also, she actually became the Black Panther when T'Challa died in Black Panther Volume 5, number 5, in August 2009. An important thing is that she was created by Reginald Hudlin, and there's been a lot of rumors that he had a lot of influence in the books that they're using to recreate the movie. So, maybe in the future Marvel we'll see her take over lead of Wakanda, and maybe even become a Black Panther. Okay, my next connection is for Eric Killmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan in the movie. He's a really cool character and always been a thorn in Black Panther's side, but he first appeared in Jungle Action, Volume 2, Number 6, in September of 1973. Now, while he's always been a thorn, he wasn't always that way. He actually used to live with his father in Wakanda, but ended up getting exiled by T'Challa's father, T'Chaka. Uh, they lived in New York for a little while, but as Eric grew up, he eventually came back to Wakanda to be a thorn, in the Black Panther side. Now, in the movie, it seems like they're a little more brother-ish with his really cool black and gold suit, um, but there's a lot of cool stuff in the comics if you read about him, him forming different bonds with the man-ape tribe that we see in the trailer earlier, and a lot of cool stuff just seeing how maybe there's not just a simple parallel between Eric Killmonger and Chaka as brothers, as friends, and we'll see in the movie. All right, my final comic book connection for you all is the Vibranium Mound. Now you might say, a very large hill? Why is that important? Well, in the history of Wakanda, the very first Vibranium asteroid came from space and landed in Vibranium. It created a huge mound where the Vibranium for back on the suit, all their technological advancement comes from, and the essence comes from Vibranium Mound that is found almost in the center of Wakanda. It's really cool and it first appeared in Fantastic Four, number 53 in 1966. Um, now, I see, think we see in the trailer at the beginning with the giant Black Panther statue, but at the end, I believe, this is my theory, here we go, that at the end where you see the kind of blue, purplish backgrounds with the kind of weird places, that's actually inside the mountain. It's going to be a fight for vibranium, for power and control of Wakanda, and it's going to center it in the very heart of Wakanda, which is the vibranium mount. All right, that's it for our comic book connections for the Black Panther trailer. Now, the movie comes out in February, and I really can't wait to see it. It looks so awesome. Ryan Coogler and the rest of the crew did an amazing job. So make sure you check out all the stuff we just mentioned in the video if you want to learn more and be uh, the smartest person sitting in that theater. Uh, that's it. If you want to follow us, make sure you like, follow, subscribe, all the different things you have to do so you can find out about all of our more content, pop culture, power hour, but why? A lot more cool stuff, but that's it for today. Thanks everyone and have a great day.